Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my showcase series. This time it's episode 33. And today I will be showcasing the Flash Volume 1 key issue comic books in my personal collection. When I first got into this fantastic hobby, all I really collected was Green Arrow, Flash and Supergirl issues. And I've got so many of them. Yeah, I was a big fan of the Arrowverse. I've I hold my hand up. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but Stephen Amell's Arrow, the first three seasons, had me hooked. It went downhill a bit after that. But I've met a lot of the cast, and I enjoy the character of The Flash, and especially Volume 1. I've got over a long box full of Flash books. I hope you enjoy the show. Let's get into it. Starting with my earliest one, and I've told you before, I'm not shy when it comes to coverless books. Don't worry, this is the only one is going to get a lot, lot better. But when you've got an early Flash book from 1960, I just want to hold on to it until I beat that and get an earlier one. And that is Flash 111. Like I say, uh, this is part of a lot that I paid £5.95 for. And until I get an earlier copy, that one is going to stay. That's how I do it. When I've got Silver Age books... It's like I've got a beat up Captain America early issue, just because it's my earliest one. Until I beat it, it's staying. Okay, let's get into the proper books now. And it, uh, next is a, a beat up key. Don't get me wrong, low grade, better than no grade. We know the score, but this is a big key. And this is Flash 117. And this, guys, we all know it, is the first appearance and origin of Captain Boomerang. It was George Digger Harkness. And now I was not a big fan of this first Suicide Squad movie. But I thought that Jay Courtney's portrayal of the uh, Captain Boomerang was the standout. And I'm glad he's returning for the sequel. Like I say, as well as that, Captain Boomerang has appeared in the Arrowverse on the Arrow TV show. I paid just £14.50 for this copy. But you will see why. It has actually been hole punched. Oh my days, my only book that has been hole punched. So uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. It's a placeholder. I will upgrade at some point like I do with all my books. But until then, happy to have read this book and it was good fun. Bought that in March of 2019. What did I pay for it? Like I said, £14.50. Up next uh, is my recent acquisition to my Silver Age Flash collection and this is Flash issue 120. This is a lovely mid-grade copy, nice 10 center. This is the first team up of Flash and Kid Flash. So a pretty iconic moment in uh, DC Comics. I paid £19.50 for this at the local antique center and that was in December of 2020. Look at that. Just don't make covers like this anymore guys do they? Love the blue on it. I cleaned it up, came out quite well. Under 20 quid for a 10 center. Up next, another 10 center, but this one is beat. And this is Flash issue 122, another big key though. The first appearance of the top. And the top is Roscoe Dillon, again, a villain that has appeared on the Flash TV show. Paid £10.74 for that copy. Again, I will look to upgrade these. You know, when you first started collecting, and I did, Back in 2016, I just, the thought of paying like three figures for a book was unheard of. I just thought, no, no, no. For the longest time, I was a budget master. Now I'm branching out of it. So I will be upgrading. Up next, we've got Flash issue 126. And this one's an undervalued book, in my opinion, because this is the first appearance of Barry's parents, Henry and Nora Allen. Now, Henry Allen was last seen as well as the Flash show, in the Justice League movie. And it'll be obviously back for the Zack Snyder cut, played by Billy Kudrup. But Billy Kudrup won't be returning for the sequel, which is a shame. Okay, so uh, like I say, his parents are well known in the TV show, at least. And I paid £23.33 for that copy in February of 2017. Probably overpaid, but, you know, I had to have it. It was from two... Uh, it was from Cheltenham. We picked this one up. Up next, another beat-up copy, but it's another first appearance. This is Flash, issue 126. 
We will know this one as well, guys. It's a lovely purple cover, isn't it? The first appearance and origin of Abracadabra, who was Citizen Abra, a time-travelling magician from the 64th century. He appeared on the Flash TV show. Now, I had a coverless copy that was absolutely destroyed. Sorry, I, I had a coverless copy. Then I won a copy that was absolutely destroyed. So I took that cover and put it on my coverless copy. And uh, all told, it cost me £10.45. Again, crazy money to pay for a detached cover. But yeah, it's mine. I'll upgrade. I will. Up next, another iconic cover. This is Flash issue 135. And this is the first appearance of Kid Flash's yellow costume. Paid £6.37 for that copy in November 2016. Most of my early flashes are from 2016. Uh, like I say, I hit the flash keys as soon as I started collecting. Now up next, a book that I don't show off too often. I haven't, I've haven't. i only got nine CGC slabs in my collection. But they are pretty good ones. And uh, I, I think I bought this one. Last minute bid, and I got it for £87. And then I got it graded through my friend, and I got Flash, issue 139. The first appearance of Professor Zoom, a.k.a. the Reverse Flash. 4.5. This book now is roughly worth, I think, around about 340 to 360 as it stands. So not bad for £87. Now, when I got that graded, it's a nice cut. It's a nice book. When I got this graded, it was attached at both staples. But I guess when you take the risk, and uh, I was told that when it was getting pressed, one of the staples popped. My heart sank. I expected perhaps a purple label or green label, is it? For, uh, I don't know, whether it be incomplete, I don't know. But it came back a blue label. And uh, couldn't be happier to have the first reverse flash. Up next uh, is one of the first big keys that I picked up. And uh, I remember feeling very nervous even spending this little amount of money. What did I pick up? Flash issue 140. Paid Well, I paid £8.85 because it came in a, a three book lot, I think. But uh, this is the first appearance of this character here. Heatwave. And Heatwave is Mick Rory. Again, he's been on the Flash TV show, and now he's currently on the uh, DC's Legend of Tomorrow show. Solid mid-grade copy, I would think. Like I say, I love... You know, I don't mind having these low-grade keys. I'll upgrade them eventually, but... Uh, I like a project. I like cleaning them up. Get me a pencil eraser. Uh, up next, issue 151. And this is the engagement of Flash and Iris West. That was seen in the Flash TV show, The Engagement. Um, it was in a musical episode, actually. Great song. Paid £8 for this in the Birmingham Con of 2016. Moving on. This is something we've seen in both of the Flash TV shows. This is Flash issue 154. It's got issues at the top again, but... I paid £5.80 for this. This is the first appearance of the Flash Museum. Moving on. An undervalued key in my opinion. This is Flash issue 155. Love this cover. This is the first appearance of the Rogues Gallery team. And they are the Pied Piper, Mirror Master, The Top, Captain Cold, Captain Boomerang and Heatwave. The Rogues Gallery, of course, has been seen on the Flash TV show. I would love to own the first appearance of Captain Cold. That would be one of my grails. Up next, Flash issue 165. Oh, what did I pay for that one, by the way? I paid £13.59 for that one. Up next, Flash 163. We've had the engagement. Now we have the marriage of Barry Allen and Iris West. Again, that was seen in the Flash crossover. Um, Infinite Earths, I think. Then we move on to issue 179, and this is the first unnamed appearance of Earth Prime. Six pounds for that one.
Oh, 720 for the marriage book. Up next, Flash 183. No significance to this, but it's pretty mid, solid mid-grade copy. The reason I include this, this was a gift in January of 2017 from my daughter. Yep, she saved up her pennies and purchased me this book because she knew I was a big Flash fan. So you can't ever get rid of that one, can you? Another key here, if you saw my showcase on showcase, you'll see that I have the first appearance of the Metal Men. Well, I have now Flash issue 214, and this is the origin of the Metal Men. Three pounds for this 100 pager. We're into the Bronze Age of Flash comics now. And I can see the Metal Men team appearing in the Doom Patrol TV show. Up next, we have Flash issue 215. And this is a cover appearance and crossover story featuring the Golden and Silver Age Flash. £1.17 for that most mid-grade copy. Flash 245 is next. And this is the first appearance of a villain called the Floronic Man, who was Jason Woodrid. Now, he first appeared on screen in the Batman and Robin movie that everyone loves. And... Uh, more recently, he was one of the villains in the Swamp Thing TV show, which I enjoyed. £1.10 for that. Nice key here. We've got Flash issue 250. This is the first appearance of the Golden Glider, who is Lisa Snart, Captain Cold's sister. She's been on the TV show. I've actually met the actress and got her signature. He played the Golden Glider. Up next. Oh, what did I pay for that one? £6.69. I found a couple of those. And next, Flash 270. And this is the first appearance of the clown, Loyal Corley. £3.24 for that one. Up next, a villain that appeared on the Flash TV show. This is Flash issue 286. Love this cover. This is the first appearance of the villain Rainbow Raider, who was Roy Bivola. £2.49 for that one. I like picking up live action appearances. I don't know about you guys. If it's cheap as chips, grab them. I like to find out their roots, their origin, how they compare to the comics to the screen. Issue 287 is next. And this is the first appearance of the second Doctor Alchemy. It was Alvin Desmond. And Doctor Alchemy appeared in the Flash TV show. Originally, Doctor Alchemy was a Golden Age character, if I'm not mistaken. 474 for that one. Most of these books from 2016. Up next, Flash issue 289. Bang for your buck with this one, because this is the first Flash Firestorm team up. And it's also the first published artwork at DC by the legend that is George Perez. £4.74 for that one. Up next, issue 304. And this is the first appearance of Colonel Computron, who was Basil Nurbin. And I believe the character was mentioned in the Flash TV show. 279 for that one. Up next, we have issue 332. And uh, I didn't even realise I had this book. But this is a, a key character now in the Flash TV show. This is the first appearance of Cecile Horton. Cecile O'Malley Horton, uh, married to Joe West. And I paid £8.85 for this in the middle of 2016. Part of a big lot of books. Just two to go, guys. Up next, we have Flash issue 338. And this is the first appearance of a character that appeared in the Flash TV show. It was a prison scene, and it was a character called Big Sir, who was Doofus Ratchet. And he was played by Goldberg, the wrestler. Believe it or not. Paid £2.95 for that copy. And the final book in my Volume 1 keys that I'm going to show you is Flash issue 350. This is the final issue of the series. And I paid £4.49 for that one. I would like to get the death of the reverse Flash. So that's it. £4.49 for that one. That's my keys. Of course, this is the big boy. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. See you soon.
And thanks for your support. Subscribe.